the rin and its net is scaled significantly. The stuttering of the ball's movement, the physics of the ball is almost turned off. And there is no information. Unity broke the physics again. My name is Andrei Sirota, this is Makaka Games, and this video is about how to solve problems in Unity after updating from one LTS version to another. After updating the Unity version on my small project Unity Asset called Basketball Game, the physics in Unity was broken in two places. The relevant version of Unity 2022.3.7 and it's great time to update the old project to the new version of Unity. And the first problem in this basketball Unity asset you can see on the screen. You can notice that the motions of player's camera, it's player breathing, and basketball ball are not synchronized. It shouldn't be like that. If we try our mouse, you can see uh, the stuttering of the ball's movement and its wrong behavior. This is the first problem in broken physics. What's happening here? In this state, the physics of the ball is almost turned off. We can turn off the physics completely on the active game object because the rigid body component has not enabled disabled tackle. So we can't make this game object disabled completely, but we need to show it on the screen. And uh, in this state, I disable the gravity, velocity, angular velocity, and the sphere collider. So it was enough in Unity 2021, but it isn't in Unity 2022.3. So to exclude extra work, we need to find all changes in physics between these two LTS releases in each version of Unity. We have three different versions of Unity, 2022.1, and 0.3. And historically, Unity makes blog post about physics changes uh, in Unity and let's find it and learn it. So Google the phrase Unity physics changes indicating each version of Unity and you will find some posts. I, I found the two posts, physics changes in 2022.1 and 0.2. But in these articles, no information about this problem. So the next step uh, in resolving my problem is to see change log of each version of Unity. So you can Google Unity archives, open the page, open release notes of random version of Unity and indicate in the address bar the zero patch for each version of Unity. 2022.1.0.2.0.3.0 And write in the first version of Unity 2022.1 I can see the next line about that rigid body interpolation was optimized. So we go in Unity and try to manipulate this interpolation. Try to disable it. And the motions are synchronized. We have not stuttering on the movement. And this is solution. So we can throw and 
the ball are not stuttering and all is okay. But we can see some stuttering during the flying because we disabled the interpolation. So we need to enable and disable interpolation dynamically. So we need to disable the interpolation when the ball is in relatively static position and enable it during the fly. Go on the code and add this line when resetting physics. And just right before the throw and nearby enabling the gravity, we enable the interpolation, but with the value that was for this specific game object by default. Because we have dynamic system, we have we can have different game objects with different values of initial interpolation and we try to save its value in the awake function of object. So we go on Unity and test our changes. We can see that the motions are synchronized and when we try to throw the object we have not stuttering, so the problem was resolved. It was fast and let's go to the second problem more interesting. I have specific behavior for the one kind of shot when the ball don't touch the ring. It's called clear shot and in this moment after the ball is scored, the ring and its net is scaled significantly. So to achieve this result more fast, we need to customize our camera position and some stuff. So change the camera position in the camera settings. Position from position 1 to position 2. Disable player breathing. Disable the rotation and position changes of the whole hoop. It's one more behavior for normal shoot. So we have comfortable position and player experience to get the clear shot. And clear shot happened. As you can see, uh, we have the net is not scaled properly. Uh, so the ring is scaled, but the net is not. And there is no information in Unity's blog posts. And in the second version of 2022.2 of Unity, we can see that there is performance update in closed system. So we have three stages, skinning, simulation and read back. And after detailed learning of the closed component, I didn't find the any access to each of these stages, the any access to reset of closed system. So in my case, uh, the closed system is contained of two components. The main component is the closed component, controls the skinned machinery. And uh, I noticed that the skinned mesh renderer bounce has not correct values. Uh, as you can see with this box, this box is not scaled uh, as the ring. So we have the scale of 2 on the ring and the net is the child of the ring. It must be scaled appropriately and it was not happened. So we can't reset 
the closed system but we can try to make some changes in the skin and mesh render uh, to scale this box but we can't do it we can't do it because skin and mesh renderer is controlled by closed system closed system has no entry point to get the access to update reset or any other action of the closed system and when we're trying to change the bounds we can do it the only solution as i can see to save the gameplay from previous version of unity is to duplicate the net with predefined settings of scale and position we can have some difficulties in this modernization process so we can scale the ring with the net inside and we need to move the net outside the ring parent our second net and the second complexity in this process the clause can interact with specific objects maximum objects is 32 these objects can have capsule or sphere colliders and in my system i register interactable objects that can interact with the net dynamically to avoid visual artifacts of physics and possibly performance issues we need to do this because my system uh, use the programming pattern called the object pool so in my system we can have any count of the balls and balls are created once in the start of the system and are reused later in the whole system and the objects are enabled and disabled dynamically and during this process after the balls are no longer needed i place the balls nearby the player camera and to avoid interactions between the net and invisible balls already i register and annul the game objects dynamically for the net sphere colliders field how it happens you can see on the screen i use the buffer called close sphere collider pairs and uh, the sphere colliders field uh, of the close is the reference type we could set the array once and get the profit but it not works i guess that uh, in the close system internally in the process of setting sphere colliders the system copy the objects in, in this array and use it separately out of the link in these circumstances uh, we need to register the array of sphere colliders every time we make changes so every time we scale the ring and we use the different type of net scaled and not scaled we need to synchronize our buffer between these two nets so in unity 2021.3 the scaling the true scaling of the net of the close component worked this way we deactivated game object made changes uh, in position and in scale and activated the object again and it worked completely without waiting of physics changes and using of coroutines so after integrating the second net in our game our function of scaling process became to look like that on the screen we are using the coroutines now and wait for fix it update so to make it work properly first we need to deactivate the small close wait for fix update activate the big close deactivate the ring the parent game object of the small close make our changes uh, with the ring position and the ring scale 
wait for fix update again, activate the ring itself, wait for fix update again, set parent for the big net and the parent is the ring. It is needed to interact with the ring positions and changing of it positions. And after that, set the current close for our game system to appropriate close net and register sphere colliders to interact with the net. These are our balls. And after these changes, we can test the game. And we can see that the net is scaled correctly. Physics of ring is connected with the net because we have the parenting. You can see right now. And the interaction between net and the balls is also happened correctly. So you can get this Unity asset updated to relevant Unity LTS version in the Unity Asset Store. All important links you can find in the description. And the largest optimization article in the internet you can find on the my website makaka.org slash optimization. And this is not only physics optimization, but the whole process of game optimizations to make it work on different platforms with normal FPS to get success for you and for your players. Optimize your games wisely and get the power with Unity.